the Galaxy A8 Star versus the OnePlus 6. Two similarly priced phones, the difference? The A8 Star is a mid-ranger from a tier 1 brand and the OnePlus 6, well it's a flagship, the best phone to buy in the 35k segment. So why even do this comparison? Well some people wanting to buy a phone in this segment often get stuck with the question flagship from a Chinese brand or a mid-ranger from a tier 1 like Samsung. So let's see how they actually stack up. I mean, if you just want to answer to which is the better phone, then close the video right now, save some time, the OnePlus 6 is better. But if you're stuck on buying a Samsung phone and want to know how it stacks up, how it compares, what you might lose out by not going for a OnePlus 6, or maybe what it does better than the OnePlus 6, well, stay on. We'll find that out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. And before we begin, go to our monthly giveaway, link in the description below. And while you're down there, Hit that bell icon, become part of a notification squad. Let's now get started. Okay, so yeah, let's jump right into this one with the specs. Of course, most of us are familiar with the OnePlus 6, right? Flagship 845 chip, 6 to 8 gigs of RAM, 64, 128, and at the very high end, 256 gigs of onboard storage. On the flip side, the A8 Star has the Snapdragon 660 chip inside with the same 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage that you would find on the base variant of the 35K OnePlus 6. The hybrid slot on the A8 though, that kind of means that you can add more storage in the form of a micro SD card. Now, this is something OnePlus has always lacked. One thing though that OnePlus doesn't lack is power. The Snapdragon 845 blows through everything from gaming to everyday multitasking. The 660 on the A8 Star 2 is not a bad chip, it is not a flagship, of course not, but it is a very good mid-range chip and in our testing it held up quite well. Held the Adreno 512 GPU on the 660 even managed to perform quite well with games like PUBG, that's quite intense, right? Man, let me play a few more seconds of footage, you guys can see that for yourself. Of course, that heavy gaming has an effect on battery life, so it's great that the A8 Star has a beefy 3700mAh battery to back it up. The OnePlus 6 falls behind here, it's got a lower capacity battery and more, more intense processor, so it kinda evens it out with support for super fast dash charging. Now moving on from hardware to software, we have Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 6, while the A8 Star runs on Samsung Experience 9 built on top of Android 8 Oreo. You guys know both these interfaces very well, so I'm not gonna talk a lot about that either. In a nutshell, if you want a fast, fluid, near stock Android experience, then Oxygen OS is gonna be better for you. But if you like more features like app pair, dual messenger, smart gestures, at a cost of the interface speed, then the A8 Star shines, no pun intended. Both these phones also feature face unlock and in our testing worked pretty well. Coming to exclusive features, well, OnePlus has the alert slider and on the Samsung side of things, you get Samsung Pay Mini. It's not the full-fledged Samsung Pay. That is really sad given that the last one did have it. Similarly, IP rating is also something Samsung's not doing on the A8 Star. It is worth noting that the OnePlus 6 does have day-to-day -day water resistance. Let's now move on to something the A8 Star does quite well, the optics. We have dual cameras on both these phones. The A8 Star features a 16 plus 24 megapixel setup, while the OnePlus 6 has a 16 plus 20 megapixel setup. Both secondary sensors help with depth information and provide pixel binning for better low light performance. All four use f1.7 lenses. The difference here is that the primary option on the OnePlus 6 has OIS support. Now that's something the A8 Star doesn't bring with it. In daylight, the detail levels are pretty high on both of them. In fact, zooming into the grills and lights of this car, you can see the A8 Star edge ahead on details. Truly impressive. Dynamic range 2 has been pretty great across both these phones with Auto HDR bringing out details from the shadowy areas of the pictures without blowing out the highlights. The real test though is when there isn't enough light around. So let's have a look at some of these shots. This is where the OnePlus 6 absolutely blows the A8 Star out of the water. Larger sized pixels with OIS means that we have some really detailed images on the OnePlus 6 that also happen to be brighter than the one shot by the A8 Star. Here are a few more samples. Do know that the OnePlus 6 supports a full-fledged manual mode, something that the A8 Star lacks. 
Now, when it comes to selfies, the 24 megapixel selfie camera on the A8 Star does a much better job than its 16 megapixel counterpart on the OnePlus 6. And the trend continues with selfie portraits too. However, we go back to OnePlus domination with portrait photos from the rear camera. The OnePlus 6 wins here with better edge deduction and overall colors. On the video front, we find both these devices are capable of 4K video recording, although the lack of any stabilization on the A8 Star causes the footage to be jittery. Level of detail is good across both devices and the OnePlus 6 does do a better job when it comes to dynamic range and colors. It's worth noting that the OnePlus 6 can do 4K 60fps while the A8 Star is limited to 4K 30. Additionally, OnePlus has a super slow-mo option 480fps at 720p that the A8 Star lacks. So overall, the OnePlus 6 definitely has an edge in the optics department, but the A8 Star does take some pretty good selfies. So let's wrap this one on a high, yep, we are talking displays. These are two of the most beautiful Full HD uh, Plus AMOLED panels that we've seen, and both of them look absolutely gorgeous, right? They are similar sizes as well, both nearly 6.3 inches. So the only thing that differentiates these two here is that notch. If you're okay with the notch, well, then you're gonna love the panel on the OnePlus 6. When it comes to the build, you can see that Samsung has put in some effort here. It is a refreshingly different take from the typical glass sandwich designs that Samsung generally opts for with a vertical camera placement this time and a centrally placed fingerprint scanner. That scanner, although fast and accurate, is placed a little too high for my liking and I had to move the phone in hand a lot to hit it at times. On the OnePlus 6 aside, well, you have seen it multiple times before, so we're gonna leave it up to you with regards to build. Which one of these designs do you like best? Here's a poll, let us know. Personally, for me, I'm gonna go with the OnePlus 6 just because of the mess up with the fingerprint scanner placements on the A8 Star. So that's about it, guys. The A8 Star is a very good offering from Samsung, but when it comes to the OnePlus 6, it is a real flagship and performs like one. I'm sure you guys knew that getting into this video. This video was basically just to showcase how they stack up against each other and what you will be losing uh, if you end up going with a mid-range phone from a tier 1 brand. So what do you think? What's your pick? Is the OnePlus 6, I mean, has it done enough to actually push you to buy a OnePlus phone? Or are you still stuck on a Samsung phone and you feel the A8 star happens just about enough to be a good pick from Samsung? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you know someone who wants to buy a phone in this range, then share this video with them. Put this video down if you hated it, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, please do subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon if you haven't yet. With that, it's time I bid you adieu. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.